Welcome to our lecture online. Grouping and then factoring using the grouping technique is something used in many, many applications. And here's a very interesting application. Notice that when we sum up the integer squared all the way up to n, the result of that can be said equal to this fraction right here. In other words, 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 4 squared plus 5 squared plus 6 squared all the way up to n squared and we can write it as a summation like this from i equals 1 to n where i is squared so just keep summing it up until i becomes n we can write it as follows now what we're going to do according to instruction we're going to rewrite that equation or that solution to that equation by first factoring out a common factor and then regrouping it, or I should say regroup it, then factor out a common factor and rewrite that. In other words, take a look over here. I can go ahead and take, take a look at this as being the first term and this as being the second term. And if I do that, notice they each have something in common. They have the n squared plus n portion in common, which means I can factor those out. So let's go ahead and try to factor those out and see what that looks like. So this can now be written as n squared plus, uh, plus n multiplied times on the first term I have a 2n left and on the second term I simply have a plus 1 left. Of course I still have divided by 6. And then I can look at this first term right here the n squared plus n, I can also factor out an n. So this can now be written as n times n plus 1 multiplied times 2n plus 1 all divided by 6. And we can claim that this is equal to 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 4 squared all the way up to n squared which means that this is equal to the sum of i squared when i goes from 1 to n. And this is a very interesting form of that equation. In other words, all you have to do is figure out what n is equal to, plug it in here, and this will always equal the sum of these all the way up to n. And that's quite a discovery, quite an equation, and that's how it's done.